Channel, welcome back. We're doing another Married at First Sight review. Uh, this is episode three. Yes. I. We have met before. Ain't that the name of it? Something like that. Yeah. Or this isn't the first time. Something. So that means we're going to start off with Amelia and Bennett. <laughs> Pick up where we left off. We were trying to figure out how did they know each other from episode two. two. Um. And we found out that they had actually met through a mutual friend. Through a mutual friend. A couple times. A couple times, but like more like a date. Which yeah. We thought it was like a date gone wrong. wrong yeah. But they both seem to be extremely excited about each other. Yeah. Which is adorable. They're weirdos. They are. In a good way. Not in a bad but way. they do seem they work, they extremely. Each other. Yes, they seem ex- they seem extremely smitten with each other. The friends asked at the um oh, yes. at the reception. They was like, "What national park do you identify with?" And he didn't miss a beat. He was like, "You know, actually Yellowstone." And he gave <laughs> and his he gave, Yes, but like, and then they was like, "What's your favorite?" Some they said something else, and he answered. It's just. They like they like definitely compliment each other extremely well. It's like amazing. It's gonna be funny to see what goes sour with them. And I can't believe Kinda she, bad, I, right? I actually thought the little tradition thing that she did was going to be a joke. Yeah. To see if he was gonna go along with it, and that was like crazy, gross, and interesting. Um, I hope that they make it. Yeah, that was because my because they seem like a really now like you. So I'm wondering what. Made the experts pick it, pick each other, for, like pick them for each other. Um, but now knowing that they were interested in each other prior to this, I'm hoping that like they really do make it because yeah. between like it's two, love story. like yeah, between strangers thinking that they belong together, and then here it is, they crossed paths before in this way. It would be really disappointing to not see them. Yeah, like make it. Pause. If you're new to the channel. I know you probably always wonder, like, why does dude always leaning and moving? <laughs> I can't sit still. I can't explain it. I don't have good trunk control in a quad. I look like I do, but I actually don't. So sometimes I just get tired of holding myself upright. I don't even notice it anymore. <laughs> but I know when I go back to edit, I'll be like, Dad, my big head in the camera. <laughs> All right. Who's our next oh, couple? Uh, what's your, so you think they're going to make it? Um, I I'm think. hoping they're going to make it. I I. I think they're gonna make it, but more than that, I'm hoping that they make it. I think they're gonna make it. I think they're gonna be good. I just like I said, I want to know what their differences are. Yeah. Like just just being a newsy, not hoping it's their downfall, but just out of newsiness. Yeah. And then there was Henry and Christina. Mm. And uh, they were interesting. She actually did go through the wedding. Um, she looked like she had some cold feet. Um, um, but he's very awkward. He does. He he's very awkward. He's more awkward than I thought he was gonna be. Oh, he is super awkward. He. I thought maybe he would have been like quiet, but he's like the awkward that I would have anticipated with Amelia and Bennett had yeah. they already not felt connected. Like yeah. it's a lot of dead air with Henry. Henry just sits there. So I feel torn about Christina. And you get to do the lip twitch. Because stop. I feel torn about Christina because I can't tell if she's not feeling him mm-hmm. or if she is and she's already caught on to him being like really awkward. Because there's moments where she's like, I kind of want him to be more aggressive. But then there was also that moment when he was kind of talking to her. 
And she was like, oh, I just realized I didn't wear my earrings. Yeah. Like, mom, I don't have my earrings. And that yeah. seemed like she was, like, kind of shutting him down because she's just like, let me just get to this night. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about them yet because I feel like, oh, the friends. Oh, yeah, his ex-girlfriend slash Well, they went on a date. They went on one date, right? The one girl I'm thinking of. A couple dates. But yeah, the one girl. So yeah, in the episode, she says that they went on a date. She realized she didn't like him. She asked him if he had any friends. And then that's how she met the other two female friends. And they kind of seemed to have like this click. Which wouldn't have been as weird had she not mentioned multiple times that he was attractive. Yeah. And so they kind of like almost have like this mean girl <laughs> like vibe to them because she said that she's like res- respectful of the, marriage. She's respectful of yeah the ma- of the marriage, but doesn't respect the relationship. Yeah, and it's almost like you want to see like I feel like they're trying to like push her buttons and see how far they can like yeah. go and get away with. It kind of remind me of the friends from last season. Um, the girl who uh, the dude didn't live in the house with her. Remember how she mm-hmm. had the agent? Mm-hmm. Like they mm-hmm. seem like, like Mindy and um. Yeah, like they were. His name? I forget. Yeah, I can good. picture him, but I can't. Yeah. Remember. Um, they kind of seem like that, but I. We're doing this week by week mm-hmm. as the three. I don't see. Henry yeah, and Christina working out. Yeah, I don't think much has changed for me either. I don't see they, them working out. Again, I would love to see why they were matched because I have not, I have yet to see. I mean, I see why. He might ground her. He, he might, might ground become, her and she might bring him out of his shell. She, he might be, but on, like on the circle, um, the fiery chick. You don't love me. You don't love me. He's doing with the accent. Well, wow, that's not the, the circle. Not the circle. Um, um, I don't know what you're talking about, Dang. but that's not the circle. Because I was like, the circle? No, what is that show called now? Uh, Love is Blind. Love is Blind, yes. yes. So, yeah, Love is Blind. Yeah, she, yeah, she I reminds me of, like, how she brought him out of his show. Yeah. She mm-hmm. brought him out of his, his, his thing. So, Christina might can do that for Henry. Christina probably would really want to do that for Henry. It's just going to take a lot of patience. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of... Like in but, the beginning, it has but when it love. happens, it's going to be such a beautiful moment. True, because I feel like when it happens, all the viewers will be able to tell that it happened. Yeah. So hopefully that's the outcome, and not them never finding like their huge. Yeah. Who's next? Oh. Uh, Woodrow. Woodrow and Imani. Um, they had a fun reception. Their reception was, you know. Like us on the New Orleans style. Um, they had a fine reception. It was a good moment where Woodrow talked with the stepfathers and the like, dad and the stepdad. Yeah, the dad and the stepdad. Yes, and they seemed like they accepted him on as son, like automatically. You know, for us that's that's hard, but they like you know accepted him. But again, in what I assume is Woodrow fashion. And given the fact that there's cameras around, I feel like I have this apprehension that the dad said what they said because it looks good on camera as well as Woody pulling the, I don't have my dad in my life. It's so nice to have y'all to be able to add stuff to. I just was like, I think because I don't trust him yet, it seemed very staged. I gotta say that. I mean, I hope it's not. I hope that is not. Because a guy without no dad. I hope that is not. I um, got one now. My bad. I hope that is not. But it, I feel bad that there's a part of me that doesn't believe that he's being genuine yet. So we'll see. Um, my prediction. I think they want. I'm still in the middle, but I want to lean more towards they're going to be good. I think 
I kind of feel like she can maybe get him where he needs to be as a married man. Like, I think she can kind of help him put that distinction between you're not single anymore, you are now my husband. Because mm -hmm. I think that she seems reserved, but she seems like if she's feeling him and he keeps up the level of trust that she needs, I think she can kind of, like, put her foot down and be like, it's just me and you now, but we gonna still have fun. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that he can make her comfortable enough to still continue to be outgoing so that he can kind of get a little bit of the I'm not a homebody vibe from her and they can still have fun as, like, a married couple without kids. Yeah. Um, But hopefully he doesn't do anything that's going to make her put a wall up that's going to keep that from happening. Yeah. They seem like they and should be Gregory a really good match. Gregory knocked down the wall. Gregory. Last year, Greg and... Uh, mm. And Deanna? Deanna, yeah. Mm -hmm. He knocked down the wall. So that big. was what? Not, that was season... Were they season nine? But no, yeah, he did it. He yeah. knocked down so you know the wall can be knocked down. You just gotta be patient. You know, I'm gonna be selfless. Yeah. Um, just because I hope to see people stay married. I think they're gonna make it. I'll have I better... Um, uh, me too. I'll have a better assessment after week four episode. After the honeymoon? Yeah. Or during the honeymoon. Like, yeah, maybe after... Yeah, yeah. this... It's gonna change week to week. Yeah. Because it's first... I you know, edited it, but yeah, just how things... We see, like, it just it goes sour real fast. And he gonna act on, he gonna probably be on his best behavior the first day of the honeymoon. Because he wanna see her in a bathing suit. And then he gonna get drunk that night, and that's when it's gonna turn upside down more. Or it's gonna be like the, oh, who was that one guy? The, it was the one husband of one year that they didn't even make it together post honeymoon. He got there and she started thinking he was alcoholic because he was like, this is my vacation, and this is how I am on vacation. And he let, she was she was an airline. I think she, she was, was a, a flight attendant. She was a flight attendant. I remember he was just yeah. sitting there like, and he what, let, do you, what do you mean? He let loose so much. Like, he was just like, this is my vacation. I'm having fun. Mm -hmm. and, like, he was not acting like I'm on my honeymoon, and you're a stranger, and I should probably be, like, sort of on my best behavior. And his face is just, Yeah, he definitely... Yes, that, he def, I don't even remember his name. They could... <laughs> After the honeymoon, they got they was, they separated, and it was like he was just not much there. left of them the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, but how did we get here? We was talking about um, Woody. Mm -hmm. Woody in the morning, and I'm like, it changes week to week. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but they seem like they would be so cute together. Brett and Olivia, okay. Brett is coming across way more geeky than I anticipated. Given his bachelor party behavior, he seems into her. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, they seem like a good a good match. It's just everybody keep warning about this. His sarc everybody keep warning him he's a Leon. Always got to make a dude. The joke comes first. I mean, not as much as him. He just straight. Everything's a joke. His only his jokes don't even go over well. Mine at least go over well. She just be annoyed. Next. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brett and Olivia, they seem all right. Um, the girl, the girlfriend seemed to like him. Yeah. No, they, but they at, didn't first, like it at first, no, yeah, again, at first, first they was definitely they like. to learn his uh, candor, this dude. Brett and Olivia, um, Olivia against those is unmemorable to me. I know. I know, no, no, no shade. Some people are just like that. Um, I guess they're gonna make it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not like they haven't got a lot of airtime. Right. Yeah, they haven't yeah. got. I feel like they haven't had. Um, yeah, I feel like they might be one of those couples that make it, but they're not. A, they still don't become memorable, even if they make oh, it. Yeah, it's no, kind of yeah. like. The, you yeah. find out, oh, they got pregnant. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. But you got to, like, look up his picture because you really don't remember what he looked like. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, they could be one that makes it and they're just, like, kind of boring, which is fine. Like, we don't got to be in y'all lives forever, you know. Not at all. Um, so, yeah. Last but not least, Miles and Karen. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what do we remember about Miles and Karen? He's they younger. Seem, he's younger. No, I was just gonna say about the reception. No, that's what that's all. Seems, I um, they seem to like each other a little bit more. They seem to kind of have a bit of a a mesh of flow. I don't know why the mom felt the need to remind him to take it seriously. I, you know, don't get that mom impression at all. That yeah, she kind of does. Her face is too. Mm-hmm. Like, so but yeah, nothing about him her. gives the impression that he doesn't take this seriously. So, I don't even know why that was a scene. But I also was saying to Leon this episode, like the reception start are starting to feel cheesy because they feel very like everything's the same. Let me, let me hand you your cue card to tell you what your question is because these are the questions that you're going to get asked at your reception. Um, so like kind of think about what you want your answer to be. Mm -hmm. And then here's the person that's going to ask the question. Like, you know, it seems like they pull them from the reception to be like, all right, here's your time with his family. We need this footage. Here's your time with her family. We need this footage. And it's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, that would be interesting to hear from the families. Was it an authentic reception or did you feel producers in your butt? Yeah. Yeah. But they seem, um, more on the same page that they then they did episode two. Yeah, they seem a little better. Like I said, the mom. I'm I felt still, like she going to be a sneaky something in this. Like she this. almost like she wants to be right about this not being a yeah, good idea. I feel like I don't know if she going to try to get your time or if she's just that over concerned mom. I just feel like she going to be a definite part of the demise. their story. Yeah. I said your story might not be the demise. Might not be a demise. Well, I'll say that because I still feel like I'm on the fence about if they're going to make it or not. I think I'm still waiting for that defining moment with the uh, memorable sound (laughs) to be like, did he sweep her off her feet or did he just really cross the line of no return? I don't know. You saw that on here? What, was something coming up? No, I'm just Uh, saying I don't know. Like, I haven't. This wasn't enough in the episode for me to know whether or not I think they're going to make it versus not make it. I still feel very neutral in my decision. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to take off next week because I like to talk after the honeymoon. Because, you know, the first episode in the honeymoon is just literally the first, like, day or two. And then they meet up with each other. Then that second episode is where it go down. That's just how I feel. I'd rather get my opinion after the whole honeymoon. We gonna record them as we have time, so whatever yeah, yeah. is gonna be is gonna be, and then we gonna hear from you when it happens. Um, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. I'm just ready to watch episode. I like the show. This is the only show that I watch week to week. Uh, this is yeah. the only show I miss with week to week. I'm not a week to week person. This is the only one I can deal with the anticipation. I'll be ready to look. Social media be doing too much. You always be finding out stuff on this show. Every you I haven't like, even looked for it. Every week you gonna be like, you want me to say No! I haven't even looked for it. Like, Instagram person. handles, they locked. Yeah. I looked up Woody, and I looked up somebody else. They're locked already. They locked. I guess they can't unlock it till... The season is over. The season is over. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Peace. So hopefully you guys are in... Join this new content, but uh, hopefully you're also married to first sight fans and you're enjoying um hearing our point of view. Um, if yours happens to be any different, leave it in the comment section for us. If this is if you're new to the show, tell us if you like it, don't like it. If you're a fan, tell us you're a fan. Um, don't forget to like, like share, share, and subscribe. subscribe. See you guys soon. Ow.